This is us. For the next 28 days, we will be traveling and working remotely in Japan to have a glimpse of what it looks like living here. Samahan nyo kami and let us guide you to different places in Sapporo, Tokyo, Nikko, and Hakone. This is part of our 30-ish days in Japan series kaya be sure to stay tuned kasi at the end of this series, we will give you a breakdown of all our expenses for this trip. For this video, we'll be visiting another tourist favorite destination na malapit sa Tokyo which is famous because of their shrines, pirate ships, and Mount Fuji sightings. Up, guys, papunta tayo ngayon ng Shinjuku Line dahil papunta tayo ng Hakone to spend a uh, weekend there. Yung Hakone is one of the spots na pwede ka mag pwede mo i-check out ang Mount Fuji pero yung chinect namin yung weather naging cloudy for the whole weekend pero fingers crossed sana magpakita kahit sa glit si Mount Fuji. Let's go! On the way tayo ngayon sa bus station sa may Shinjuku kung saan tayo sasakay ng bus papunta ang Hakone. It usually takes a 2 hour bus ride na dadaan ng Gotemba. Pagbaba namin ng Hokone Museum Station ay naglakad lang kami ng mga 5 minutes sa aming unique Airbnb booking. It is a cozy studio unit place na Rila Kuma Team. Since halos wala ng araw nung dumating kami ng Hokone ay nag-decide kami na magpahinga na lang today and simula ng tour namin kinabukasan. Ang first stop natin for today is to visit the Hakone Shrine. This shrine holds a lot of Japanese culture, history, and their spirituality. It is also one of many places in Japan na may picturesque story gate near a lake kung saan gusto namin magpa-picture. Pero dahil mahaba ang pila ng story gate for today dahil sa dami ng visitors ay hindi na muna kami nagpa-picture and move on to our next destination. Along the way ay nakakita kami ng famous pirate ships ng Hakone which traverses Ashi Lake into different parts of Hakone. Ang next stop natin ay ang Old Tokaido Highway. It is a scenic trail na may mga naglalakihang mga puno at iba't ibang uri ng halaman. It has a major role in terms of facilitating trade, diplomacy, and cultural exchange in Japan during the Edo period. After namin sa Old Tokaido Road ay dumaan din kami sa Hakone Sekisho Road, also known as Hakone Checkpoint. Ang main purpose niya during the Edo period is a checkpoint to somewhat control people movements to maintain order and security in the region. Pinreserve nila yung lugar so that tourists can have a glimpse of Edo period and its architectures. It now has street foods and novelty shops na I'm sure you will enjoy. Malapit dito sa Hone Checkpoint ay isa sa apat na ports ng Ashi Lake. 
ang plan namin ay sumakay ng pirate ship ferries nila para pumunta sa ating next destination. going to be the king of the pirates. Masakit tayo dito sa pirate ship kasama siya dun sa 3-day pass ng mga konek. Pero ang tingin ko, isang beses siya lang pwede sumakay kasi sinatakan nila yun. Pero tatry natin kung pwede multiple times. Ayun, as ito ano yung name ng ship. Tapos pwede kayo pumunta dito sa taas. Medyo malamig pero worth it naman yung view. Or kung gusto nyo, kung most prefer nyo mag-stay dito sa iba ba, makatopo kayo. Meron din namang glass view doon. Ito ngayon, umuulan kaya siguro mas maganda nga sa loob tayo. Sige. Pagkababa namin ng Tugenday Port ay kumain na muna kami sa restaurant sa loob. Medyo pricey siya compared sa mga regular restaurants na pinupuntahan namin pero masarap naman siya and may view ka pa ng Ashy Lake and ng mga pirate ship ferries. Papaan si naman ang food na. Ang ganyang pa nga. Sis pa nga. After naming mag-lunch ay pumila na kami para sumakay ng cable car dahil medyo mataas ang elevation ng ating pupuntahan. Halos 30 minutes kami pumila dahil sa dami ng tourists and visitors for today. Mato, akala ko cable car ko parang Enchanted Kingdom. After 15 minutes of cable car ride, ay dumating kami sa Owaku Dani, also known as the Great Boiling Valley. It is a volcanic valley in Hakone that offers dramatic landscapes, volcanic activity, and a scenic view of Mount Fuji. Depende sa weather. Famous food attraction din dito ay yung black eggs na pinapakuloan nila sa nearby hot springs. It turns black dahil sa sulfuric mineral ng tubig. On the way down naman sa ropeway ay nakita namin ang panoramic view ng area that shows visible signs of sulfur. Ito din ang first time kong makakita ng funicular which is basically a railway system na ginagamit sa matatarik na lugar. You can see na iba siya compared sa ibang rail system dahil sa obvious inclination nito. Hey Alice, you're not going to vlog me. I'm not going to vlog the team. After ng aming busy itinerary kahapon, ay plan namin to take it easy for today and do some window shopping sa Gotemba. From Gotemba Station, ay pwede kayong sumakay sa free shuttle nila going to Gotemba Premium Outlet.
Upon arrival, napansin namin na puro designer brands yung mga nakikita namin. Until makakita kami ng sign going to the East Zone with brands we are more familiar with. We then found out that the area consists of three zones. West Zone for the designer brands, East Zone naman are for the consumer brands, and Hillside which contains more restaurants options. The next day, we woke up early to check out a nearby tourist spot. Sengoku Hara Palm Pass Grass Field is a natural attraction in Hakone. An expansive field of Suzuki grass or Pampas grass creates a stunning golden landscape, making your early morning walk pretty scenic. Nandito kami sa Sengoku Hara Grassland. So kung mapapansin nyo, mayroong mga grassland. May mga pampas grass sa may likuran ko. Tapos, may story daw to eh. Ngayon kasi, meron na siyang barikada. Meron na siyang mga fence around the place. Kasi daw, uh, sobrang dami ng deer. Tapos kinakain nila tong ano, pampas grass. Kinakain nila yan. Nauubo siya, nawawala yung biodiversity ng lugar. Kaya yun, naglagay sila ng fence around this area para hindi makapasok yung mga deers. Six minutes away lang siya dun sa pinag i namin malapit sa merong Hakone Museum. Sinagbit lang namin to para mag-take ng videos and pictures. Tapos ngayon, pabalik na kami kasi 8.15 daw yung, yung bus. So, let's go back. It's our last day today in Hakone and we would like to revisit the Hakone Shrine para makapagpa-picture sa Tori Gate na malapit sa lake. Oh, bumili tayo ng kamukha nung bus natin. Natin, unboxing. Unboxing. <laughs> Ikaw eh, bumalik ulit kami dito sa may shrine, yung merong Tori Gate, uh, tapos nandun siya sa may dagat. Haba ng pila. Napansin namin na nag-clear up na ang sky and unti-unting sumisilip si Mount Fuji. Kaya instead of taking easy for today, nag-decide kami na i-revisit din ang Owakudani and hope to see Mount Fuji from the top. Nalaman din namin na you can ride the pirate ship multiple times as long as valid yung dates ng inyong pass. in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure Dahil what's saving me i'd like to be I but no words enemy there's no risk Fuji. if you don't try anything so i'ma just keep buying everything see you in the next life you'll be a better me there's a block for you guys letting her in and go and get an x-ray 
like, what's wrong with me? I just feel way I'm pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind, maybe yellow. Pag baba naman namin sa next station ng cable car, tapansin namin na merong scenic footbat dito, kaya tinride din namin siya. Yun, put bat lang. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and it's okay. Well, I just wanna be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Cause there's so many differences in each of us. Ito, ito, ito. Ito ka na lang. Spending our last day in Japan. Stop on you. And peep. Tapos mamaya sa airport na tayo. Bye-bye Japan. Bye-bye. Hi guys, pabalik na kami ng Pilipinas. Thank you for watching the 30-ish days in Japan series and see you on the next one. Bye!